Good morning and welcome to Friday. Fantastic Friday. I hope you guys have had a really nice week of learning. Today we are taking it a little easy. Um, and so I hope that you appreciate that. Just like our usual Fridays, today is a day to kind of catch up on work um, after you have completed these assignments for today. So let us go on. Oh, and I'm not sure if you noticed, but I am wearing red and black for Chico State. I'm wondering if you guys are wearing red and black for Chico State. Okay, so here's our schedule. Um, office hours, this is me available on Google Hangouts, um, ready to help you guys with anything that you guys need help with. Um, just send me a message on Google Hangouts and I will message you back or we can have a meeting. Uh, depends on what you need. Um, ELD, I've changed our schedule. I want to meet with you guys every day at one. So this is for Valeria, Yanelli, Yvonne, Mariana, and Giovanni. I want to see you on Google Hangouts at one and I will send you a link for a meeting. Release time, really you could do PE and STEAM uh, at any time during the day. Um, but this is just for you to, if you're going to follow this schedule, you could do, um, PE and, um, steam at this time for Fridays. We don't usually have release. Um, so completely up to you if you want to do that, uh, core instruction. That means that the videos, uh, like today's video are going to be online and ready for you to view at least by 1030, sometimes earlier sometimes a little late, depending on uh, how the uploading goes and everything. Uh, Google Meet check-ins. I am available at noon and at 5.15. I send you guys uh, Google Meeting invites and you guys are welcome to pop in. Um, lately, there haven't been a whole lot of questions, so we are starting to play some games, So, which is also really fun because I love seeing your guys' faces and I love having fun with you guys. So uh, please be sure to pop in and I will see you guys later. So continuing on, uh, here are your morning uh, workout videos. If you guys want to click on these before you get started on your work, it really helps to energize yourself and um, get your mind awake for the rest of the day. Your morning meeting for today on Google Hangouts, you need to ask a partner to share what they are excited about for this weekend. My partner was mm, and they shared mm. So, and this weekend is one of our first actually sunny weekends for spring um, because it's been raining every weekend. So I hope that you guys are gonna be able to get outside, remaining socially distant from other people but at least uh, trying to get some sun on your skin because that is good for you. All right, our objective for math. I will be able to apply concepts to solve math problems. So I had explained yesterday after we have worked on fractions that um, today is just going to be math boxes. Um, I hope that you guys enjoyed yesterday's uh, lesson because I thought it was super fun. I, I like the uh, the fractions. So um, if you haven't done yesterday's, um, you can pop over there and do it. Um, that math assignment was, was super fun. So for this math box, it says add parentheses to make the number sentences true. So 104 equals 100 plus 20 divided by 5. Where do the parentheses go? And so in this box is where I want your answer. And how I want your answer is like this. You will write 104 equals, and then you'd put in the parentheses if you think it goes here, 100 plus 20. And then divided by, remember, we don't actually have that as uh, something on our keyboard. So I like the slash, okay? Divided by five, or if you think it goes somewhere else, you would do 100 plus parentheses 20 
divided by five. Okay. Um, some people have been writing in divided, and that's fine too. You could go, and that's fine too. Um, whatever makes it easy, and I will be able to know where exactly you're putting in those parentheses. And remember, when we are solving equations, parentheses always come first. So what would make each of these number sentences true really depends on where you're putting in the parentheses. So after you put in the parentheses, solve and see if it makes it true. If it doesn't make it true, then you know that you need to change where the parentheses go. Next math box. Ivan earned $15 mowing the grass. He buys four toy cars for $3 each. How much money does he have left over? Choose the equation that fits the story. D is money left over. Then solve the story. So we have $15 mowing grass. He buys four toy cars for $3 each. So I think I have a clue here as to what needs to go first. And so when you are solving this and trying to pick which one of these works best, ah, no, I want to escape. There we go. Um, I did provide you guys with a circle. Um, when it has this cross like this, that means it's ready to drag. So you can click and then drag it over to whichever one you think is the right answer. Okay. Once you've made your selection, go ahead and tell me what the answer is. And the question is asking, how much money does he have left over? So that would be how much money he has left over for that box. Danielle skates from 6.45 a.m. to 7.30 a.m. before school each mor morning, Monday through Friday. She also skates from 3 p.m to 3.30 p.m. in the afternoon on Mondays and Wednesdays. How long does she skate in a week? Mm. So this has a lot of different aspects and components to it. So this is really about getting your clock and understanding how much time has passed. And you could, if you wanted to draw boxes like we had done in a separate lesson, you could draw some boxes. Actually, I might just provide you guys with some boxes. So that way you have your information nice and organized. Um, so you can be able to solve this problem accurately. So let me get some more boxes for you guys so you guys can box up your numbers. Remember to underline your um, main question and I might just link in the video somewhere here if you guys need some help in remembering our word problem routine. Okay. This is fairly simple. Um, solve. 7 times 6 equals what times 7? I'll give you a hint. It's this rule. I usually go really fast during class. Okay. 8 times 6 equals 12 times mmm. Now this is interesting. First I would solve 8 times 6 and know that 12 times mmm is going to equal the same thing. So first solve 8 times 6 and then go to figure out how many groups of 12 are needed to equal that answer. Okay. Now this one's really fun. This is where you're kind of doing your doubling. Right? So we have 9 times 3 plus 9 times mm equals 9 times 6. So the doubling rule is what I'm kind of giving you a hint on for this one. The last one is what times 1 equals 1,000 minus 999? Now, to solve this, I would do 1,000 minus 999 first. Do this first what times one equals that answer, okay? This one, Shane wants to cover his floor with tile. How much tile does he need? Draw a line to divide the room into two smaller rectangles. Now up here at the top, I provided you with two different lines because you could put this line right here 
and have that square, or you could put this line here and have these two different rectangles. I'll show you what that would look like. Remember when it has the cross, we know it's able to move, so I can move this down and create two rectangles this way. I've got this little rectangle and this larger rectangle. But the problem with this large rectangle is that now I need to find how long this is. How long this is. And I'll give you a hint. It's this side plus this side. So if you add those together, then you multiply that number times five. Or you could use this line to separate the rectangles into these two different rectangles. Now we have this smaller rectangle. We can easily do five times six to get that area. Now we don't know the side length of this side. Now here's your hint. You can add this side length to this side length in order to get this one, okay? Because this plus this is gonna equal this. And then you gotta do seven times that and get your answer. After you find the area of both of those smaller rectangles, then you add them together to get your total area. And the number models that you would use are the area for one rectangle plus the area for the other rectangle. Please contact me if you need any help with this. Okay. So at this time, I'm going to go ahead and pause the video. That's all of the assignments that you have for math. Um, please, like I said, let me know if you need any help. And I will see you on the next slide for your next video of instructions.